Hello my students, how are you? Today our lesson is talking about measuring angles 1 which is lesson 13 on page 48. Measuring angles. The protractor is used to measure the angles. So this is the protractor that we use it to measure any angle. The unit of a measure as of measure of an angle is degree. So this is the uh, unit degree. How do we measure the angle X or Y? So here I have an angle X or Y. How can I measure it? Excellent. First, we need a protractor. So we use the protractor to measure any angle. First step, the teacher, you have to place the center of the protractor. Here is the center of the protractor on the vertex of the angle. So here is the center of the protractor, which is on zero degree. I place it exactly on the vertex O, and the other and the one on the side should be on zero degree, and the other on the other side. So here I have the center of protractor and OY on zero degree. And I start the teacher counting 0, 10, 20, 30, 40 to reach the other side, which is OX on 50, not on 130, because I start from the number 0, 10, 20, 30, 40, and 50. So the measure of this angle is 50 degree. Homework on page 49. On page 49, we have to use the protractor to find that in degrees the measure of each of the following angles. So don't forget, step one, to place the protractor on the uh, vertex O, uh, so, sorry, vertex A. I place it on A exactly, and I start from zero. One of the sides should be on zero, and I start counting zero, 10, 20, 30, and here I have 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, because it's less than 40. So the angle XAY is equal to 35 degree. Excellent. The second one you have also to follow the steps, place your protractor on the vertex O, and the one of the side on zero and the other to reach the other. And you have to write down what is the measure of the second and third angle. Also on page 49, we have exercise number two. So you should solve also exercise number two. How do you measure this angle? X O T. Don't forget, center of the circle uh, of the protractor, I put it on the vertex. But here I want to turn it to reach one of the sides. I place it like that on zero. But your teacher, the other side is not in, uh, in, the, in the protractor, so it's wrong. I want to turn and I fix it on zero the other side. Here I have OX on zero and I start counting 0, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. It's a teacher between 50 and 60. If you want, you can make it taller to see a teacher the number exactly between 50 and 60. And so on for the others. Okay, so you have to measure all these angles and write the number down. Don't forget to write it in degree unit. Arrange the following angle. I want to arrange the following angle in exercise number 3. How can I, I arrange them without knowing their measures? Excellent. So first, we have to measure each one. For example, I place it on AT and the center of protractor of the vertex and this side on 0. I start from 0, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, 110, and 120. So, the measure of X, A, T is 120 degree. So, I write here 120 degree. Don't forget to measure the angles first and write the number here. After that, your teacher, you can arrange them from the smallest to the largest one. Okay, teacher? So, please, my students, after watching the video, uh, 
please let you make sure that you understand it very well and solve page 49. Thanks for watching. Goodbye, my lovely students.